therapy for the tired, a rush of inspiration for the creative, and of course, the best place to unwind from the chaos. What makes the trip memorable is when you arrive, you instantly feel at home. And W Goa has that vibe. While it has all the indulgences one would want, it's also very warm and easy. And that's another thing about Goa tripping. The people. All sorts from all over. Enriching your everyday life with something new. I met Ashe today and I'm fascinated by this art form. One of the great masters of Kapura, Mr. Pastinha, he said once that uh, Kapura is for uh, man, woman and child. Tell me about Goa and Capoeira. I think people from all over the world come mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. Not just for Capoeira, like Goa is a great place for mm -hmm. learning any art mm -hmm. because there's so much exposure, there's right. lots of people coming yeah, who have definitely. probably been practicing those arts for mm -hmm. years. So you're called Ashe, the names in Capoeira. Yeah. Um, how do you go about that? Like, so everybody has a nickname in Capoeira. Ashe yeah. means divine energy. And today, I'm off to meet someone who is truly inspirational in many ways and I can't wait to meet Bhagishri from the Paper Boat Collective. The art and design scene in Goa, is it growing? Has it always been like this? When I moved here eight years ago, okay. it was largely people who wanted a very quiet sort of a, a place to be mm -hmm. and uh, design or curate or create or do whatever else that you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but over the last couple of years, it's changing because there are a lot of lot more people coming mm -hmm. from the cities right. and bringing with them a different vibe. Mm -hmm. So it's become almost like an art and design like a uh, district, pot like a melting pot art of different and Yes, yeah. yes, superb. So, Paper Boat Collective, tell yeah. me a little bit about that. It's a beautiful old Portuguese house, right. my entire shop. Everything in the shop is um, handcrafted, right. natural and Indian. We are also trying to be 100% sustainable and organic. I like the fact that the Paper Boat Collective is so different and so Goa. Everything is handmade and made in India. What's fascinating about Goa is that the party never stops. There's always some music scene to check out. I'm going to rest it up before I head to the rock pool at the W later tonight. I love the W. Yeah. Uh, the rock pool is really cool. Yeah. Uh, we do a party with them uh, twice a month. It's called Parody So, okay. which is basically uh, yeah. bringing some live performers and uh, the the whole vibe around here completely matches mm -hmm. uh, what I do, which is essentially house music. I, I always thought that you were not from Goa. Me and my dad are pretty much born and raised here, nice. so I'm third generation nice. now. Goa really comes from a very rich heritage and history of mm -hmm. Psytrance. Mm -hmm. um, the current music scene in Goa, I think, is very fragmented. The Psytrance dreams pretty much don't exist anymore. They're hmm. very here and few hmm. and far between. Hmm. I do draw inspirations from um, house music, which kind of hmm. originated on beaches. This is the perfect getaway, a perfect mini vacation, an inspired rendition of Goa and yet a feeling of belonging here at the W. Like my second home. Until you see me next time, adios! <laughs>